Hi everyone, I'm JD from Miller Van Journals and welcome back to my channel. So, so excited. I've got a new journal collection to share with you and I've done something a bit different with the covers. I tried doing a patchwork. So I've called this collection the Vintage Linen Patchwork Journal Collection and I absolutely love it. Oh my goodness. So I'm trying to, you know, get out of my comfort zone and stretch my skills and try new things every year and so collaging and that kind of thing is still out of my comfort zone but um the more i do it the more i love it so yeah i'll just give you a look at all these covers there are 10 of them <laughs> so i had so much fun making these that yeah i just couldn't stop and they're all a bit different so each cover is unique just as each journal is unique <laughs> and I asked the ladies in the live if I should leave the threads long or not and they said yes leave them long I used yellow pale yellow embroidery thread to bind them because I was inspired by the duck the yellow duck on some of the covers I think it's so cute Okay, so there we go, lots of linens. <laughs> These are all from Little Bindi, Johanna Clough's Etsy shop. So they're very pretty, they're from various kits, so all different kits. And these ones are more of the standard ones, but this one has a surprise at the back. And this one, yeah, it's a bit more um, symmetrical. So just move the cat hair out the way, and we'll do a proper in-depth flip through of one of them and then I'll just go um, pretty quick through some of the others I guess there's a little duck again so cute so I think this one might be my favorite one with the ducky there <laughs> all right so here we go they're packed full of vintage papers um, I wanted to use vintage children's book pages there's illustrated pages there's vintage note or lined paper and it's just really fun so this is from Bugs Bunny um, there's vintage swap cards or playing cards paper clipped in so there's quite a bit of vintage authentic ephemera throughout and also fun ephemera like this so flashcards there's some of uh, Johanna Clough's little bindi linens throughout the journal too vintage music paper I love this one with the illustrations so really really cute um, I try to put some pockets in there too, so we've got flashcards all throughout. This is one of my favourite pages, the Children's Vintage Illustrated Dictionary. And there's the vintage lined paper throughout this journal. This is such a cute illustrated children's book. Very, very cute. There's some coffee dyed paper as well. Some of this stamp collector's page so I love that for the color as well and just the interest interesting pages and then this one's from a music book as well and I tried to also include different textures so this has got that different texture with the <laughs> illustration so cute another linen there a glassine bag some of them have a glassine bag and some of them have a damask bag and I've just put in here some of Johanna's um, digital patchwork cards I thought they were perfect to put in this journal with the patchwork covers and the gorgeous illustrations again and just the page decoration there's some tags in these pockets from Kylie's Etsy shop paper daisy journals and this one is really cool this is from another stamp collector's book I just love the script or the font and the illustrations and then you've got typewriter font on the back of those pages so really cool and this one is a different type of music paper as well love that treble clef and then they each have a paint chip a different color and in this coin envelope there are some vintage queen stamps they each have a card a vintage card so this is a recent edition to my collection and they all have a unique card as well so I really love that touch of vintage this is a little label piece you can use for a title or a date or write a quote and so we're just going on the other side there's some more tags in here so just a couple tags in each pocket 
And then in here we've got an index card and playing card, so lots of fun pieces. And hopefully enough balance of interesting pages with blank pages for writing. Oh look, there's the ballet stamp right there. Love that one. <laughs> it's like a treasure hunt looking for different stamps in those pages. Cute illustrations. And yeah, so in here, this is really exciting. Another recent addition to my collection, vintage stamped envelopes. So really, really cool with a floral. They each have a different floral. And then again, the illustrated paper. Ow, just hit my leg against my desk, all good. <laughs> and then they all, all have a vintage tea card and a flash card at the back. And there is the back. They all have washi tape down the spine from Washi Wednesday. So two of these have already sold, but um, the, the rest of them, <laughs> the, the other eight, so cute, uh, available. If anyone is interested, just contact me by email. My email will be below in the description box. Um, and let me know what country you're from so I can give you a shipping price. How cute for the dog! Um, and yeah, I can either send them at random, which is what I am doing for the lady who bought um, the other two journals. Um, but if you have a preference, also let me know in the email. Look at that script writing, that's so cool. Just let me know if you have a preference. You might have to um, describe something about the cover to me because um, a lot of them have similar linens and everything so if there's a characteristic feature that you can give me uh, maybe just let me know otherwise I'll send it at random so they're all pretty much the same so yeah I'll just kind of give you a quick flip through so you can see that they are pretty much the same and yeah very very fun maybe that's an idea for you to make your own collage patchwork covers <laughs> so so fun um so yeah let me know in the comments what you think of this latest journal collection always love experimenting trying different things this is the card in this one so pretty and the cat cat oh the vintage um playing cards or swap cards they're all cats by the way <laughs> so you always get a cat so this one is one of the ones that has a damask bag and my cat has come to visit <laughs> um where is it can't find there it is so damask bag but they all have the same bits and pieces in the bag so yeah cute little bears <laughs> So really fun, I love the vintage theme so much, so it's really good to use these gorgeous vintage items. Um, I guess the last two you can say with pretty relative ease because those ones um, are very distinguished. So this is like the symmetrical one, if you want to call it the symmetrical one, which is very unique, it's the only one like it. <laughs> And let's have a look at that. Look at the cute little bears. And you've got writing space and the bird. How cute. <laughs> little kitty cat. And then this one I'm calling Daisy. Let's call this one Daisy. So, yeah. And then the fun surprise patchwork on the back. <laughs> and, yeah, just give you a look. And I just want to show you the cute card there. <laughs> All right. So those are the journals. Um, hope you like them. I had so much fun making them. Um, so yeah, I'll just put them back here in frame for you to look at. And there's a lot, so I'm trying to fit them all in. <laughs> Alright, so thank you so much for watching. Hope that was enjoyable and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! <laughs>